Hey you guys, I'd like to welcome you back to the Miami Dolphins franchise here in Madden 21. Before we get going with week number two here in Tua's debut, I'd like to thank you guys so much for all the support. You guys are awesome. And as for the Madden 21 giveaway, I will be announcing the winner next Wednesday, September 2nd. So if you had not entered that one in, you can see the video above there. Entering in, just comment below, like the video and put in your system a chance to win a free copy of Madden 21. So let's get this one going. Week number two here in Miami. Last week, week number one, we had a great chance of winning that game against the New England Patriots in New England. Now back home, Tua Tonga Viola's debut. Got the home crowd rocking here in Miami. And uh, luckily for us, it's good weather. Not rain or anything. Here gets another division rival in Buffalo. They won last week against the New York Jets with two touchdowns late in the fourth quarter here with Josh Allen. They're trying to go 2-0. We're trying to get our first win of the season. So here we go as Josh Allen trying to get back to the playoffs this year after the disappointing loss last year to the Texans in that wild card round. So as we get into this game here, that's going to be T.J. Yellen, which is a two-yard rush, and now brings up an early third down here. Third and nine, see if we can get him off the field. But Josh Allen's going to find the tight end, Lee Smith there, wide open across the middle, picks up 11 yards, and a first down. And they're up to the 42-yard line. So second and three, handoff to Devin Singletary, breaks a tackle, and he's four for another first down. You know, with uh, the uh, the addition of Stephon Diggs, you know, this offense is built really on the run. Josh Allen can run the ball. He's very good at it. Trying to work on the passing, and he goes down the field again to Lee Smith, and that is going to be a nice job by the tight end getting the two feet. But you bring Stephon Diggs in, it really just opens up the passing, gives you a legitimate receiver. And now it's tough. as that. It's really it's Lee Smith is absolutely just destroying us here, but he goes down with an injury, but it doesn't matter. Already got three catches here. And they're down to the five, just like that. And now they're going to hand off to Singletary, who has the carry. And they're going to say he was in. They're going to say touchdown here for Buffalo. I'm not sure about that. That was insanely close. And let's see where to reach the ball out. Let's take a look at this replay. You can clearly see he is short. Let's see if they review this one. And they will. It's going to go to the booth for review. And it is going to be overturned. He was definitely short. So bring back the touchdown, and now third and goal here for this Bills offense. What a fir great first drive, and then Stephon Diggs is there, and he gets the touchdown. Man, and there you go. That's what I'm talking about. They just have those guys. You know, they're, they're a run-first defense-type team, Buffalo, but, man, you got guys like Diggs that can bring in, help you out. And you got a cannon like Josh Allen. That is going to really help out as Buffalo just goes right down the field, gets the touchdown. And here comes Tua in his debut. Just limited action last week in that last drive after the Ryan Fitzpatrick four interceptions. Had the interception at the end of the game, just trying to throw one up and uh, couldn't get it done. But let's see what he can do here in his debut. And our home opener here in week number two is Albert Wilson with the catch after a uh, minus two-yard loss run on first down. Picks up nine there and brings up a third and three. So Tua from the gun looking in the pocket. And he's going to run out of time as Star Latulule comes in there for the sack. It's going to be the problem this year, obviously, the offensive line. It's going to need work. I would tell you already, going into the offseason this year, it's going to be the main target is really improve this offensive line. So Tua can sit back there, find his reads, find his weapons. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be obviously a problem this year, but hopefully we can, you know, find some ways to get some offense going to get the ball out quick as a nice play there by Kyle Van Noy getting in the stop. And now it's going to bring up a third and three here from the 48. Quick pass there by Allen, but knocked away. Nice defensive play as Lee Smith is having some injury problems here on. Second time he's gone off the field, but he will return. So we get back on the offense side of the ball, and here comes Mike Kosicki with a nice catch there on second and 13. There's nothing better than a talented tight end to help out your young quarterback. They'll look at him all day as we got now a second and 10. And right now the run game with Matt Breida not working out like it did in week number one. This Buffalo's Bills defense is absolutely fantastic. They are one of the best. And then it's a mistake there, and that one's going to be picked off. Micah Hyde has it. And he is going to take this one all the way for a pick six. Two of them happened against us last week, and that was really the difference. As Eric Flowers makes the play even worse, he goes down with an injury, and he has broken ribs. And that is not going to help out our offensive line at all. One of the better players we have on the offensive line. 
and he goes down with an injury. So Buffalo up here quick, 14-0. Luckily, it's just the first quarter. Just got to settle down, get back into this ball game. We got a young quarterback just made a mistake. Try to help him out here with the run game, and that run with Matt Breed is going to really help. Breaks this one loose, and he is going to be all the way down up to the 30-yard line. Exactly what we needed there. 30 yards on that carry. That run game can help out the young quarterback as well. Don't put as much pressure on him. But here, too, has been in big situations, obviously, in college at Alabama, national championship. So he's definitely used to the pressure. Maybe a little bit different when you get to the NFL, but still got to help him out as Jordan Howard with a nice run there. But this is a good drive coming back from the pick six. First and ten, Tua going to go underneath. Find Matt Breida just runs out of room, and he's out at the five-yard line. And we can still get a first down here. Third and four from the six. Tua looking back at the end zone, and that's going to be incomplete for Devontae Parker. So, at least we get on the board here. Nice drive down the field. Pick up three points. 14-3 as Devin Singletary comes right back. He picks up a nice run, and I believe he picked up a first down to the 35-yard line. Just continue to drive Lou's legs and go forward. Looks like he has himself another one as a late flag comes out. Nice good run there, and let's see what this flag is. It's going to be a block in the back from Stephon Diggs, so they'll take it back where the penalty is. So first and three now. Don't really see that a whole lot. From the 43 is Allen looking in the pocket. Plenty of room to throw. Has a guy wide open. That's going to be a catch. That's going to be John Brown there for the first down. As Buffalo moves the chains. Now to the 48-yard line. Play action. Blitz coming. Picked up perfectly. But McMillan is there for the interception. Roquan McMillan. See what he can do. Jukes out Josh Allen. But he'll be brought down. And the defense comes up with a huge play. Something we need. We get a turn of our own, and now we got great field position here at the 32-yard line, but we have a quick third down. So third and two, two of looking, finding his receiver, Parker. He's got the catch first down up to the 16-yard line. Man, we got to put seven up on the board, and we can do that. We're right back in this ball game here. So second and nine from the 15, midway through the second quarter, just dumping underneath the Brita. Yeah, that's what you got to do. Nice job. No, don't force anything. If you got to pick up, just pick up good yardage. Does it there. So third and two. Make this third and manageable. Looking across the middle. It's Parker for the touchdown. There we go. Raquan McMillan comes up with a huge interception in this Dolphins offense. Right back in the ball game. First touchdown of Tua's career. There you go to Parker. So that's touchdown number one of hopefully... A very successful career here in Miami. We're to a tongue of Iola, and here we go. 14-10 the score when it looked like after the pick six it wasn't going to work out. And then the defense comes right back. Gets the sack. Gets the force fumble. And we got the ball right back at the 32. Now we got a chance for the lead. Unbelievable turn of events here in this second quarter. Get the sack there. And then Ogba is just waiting there. Picks it up. And now Tua has a chance for this Miami team to take the lead here with 354 left in this first uh, half. He'll roll out first and 10, finds Mike Kosicki for the catch. He'll pick up a few yards there after right before Tua just got taken down and brings up a third and two now from the 24. Go to the run game, go to the big man, Jordan Howard. He's got plenty of room, plenty of yardage there, pounding through there for the first down, and he's down to the 18-yard line. As we work this down to the two-minute warning. So second 11, Tua dumping it off once again. Yeah, just take what you got. If they're going to play back there, you know, go this underneath. Get what you can yardage-wise. Pretty good. Get the third shorts. And that's what we got. Third and three from the 11. Tua looking. Throwing back of the end zone. He's going to find you. Key Grant where the touchdown. Perfect throw. Perfect catch from the return man. And he comes up big for the touchdown. And, man... Not that long ago, we were down 14-0, not looking good. Two turnovers later of our own. And we got the lead, 17-14, with 122 left here in this first half. Man, what a crazy first half we got going. As back to the tight ends they go is Josh Allen, and he's got a catch first down up to the 44-yard line. So Buffalo now down to two timeouts, but they want to get some points of their own here before half as Allen looking wide open. Diggs, he's got the catch first down. Cannot allow him to sit back in the pocket and just find his man. we got to get pressure on him and make him make mistakes. 
first and ten. There was pressure that time, but he got rid of it in time. You can see the arm strength there on the outside. Those aren't easy throws, and he finds Diggs for the catch. So 17 seconds are rolling here in this first half. One timeout left for Buffalo. Allen looks, fires, got him for the touchdown is Cole Beasley. What a throw there by Josh Allen. Showing off that arm strength and then just go right down the field with less than two minutes to go in the first half. And Buffalo retakes the lead. So it looks like we got a good one brewing here in week number two. These division games, I'll tell you what. You know you're always going to get some crazy games in the division. Let's see it here. It's a division team, San Francisco versus the Jets. Jets obviously lost to this Buffalo team last week and right now down 14-7 to with about two minutes left in the first half here in their game. So here we go into the second half. Man, what a first half that was. A tale of quarters, but then Buffalo just strikes late. 21-17 to score here. We receive the ball first. Grant with the return. He'll be up to around the 26-yard line. You know, always got to give him a chance. He's such a dynamic return man. Just give him a, a room, a lane, and he could be gone for sure. That's why I always like to try the returns with him no matter where it's deep in the end zone. But here we go. Second and six. Tua. See if he, how he looks here as he's going to find Kasiki. But the ball is loose. And it's going to be picked up by Trinavarius White. And that is going to be a fumble and picked up by Buffalo. Unbelievable. First play here in the second half. And let's see here. I don't know. That knee looks down. And this is going to get a booth review here. We'll take one more look at this. I think his knee is down. No doubt. I think the knee's down before the ball is out. And they're going to reverse it. So, catch a break on that one. But now it's a third and seven here at the 45-yard line. Two stepping back. Looking deep to Gasicki. And that's going to be overthrown. Incomplete. Really good coverage anyway. Not a whole lot there. So, just forces the punt, but at least the turnover got taken back. First and ten, Josh Allen slings this one down the field and almost picked off. Probably should have been. And tenant for Diggs there. And brings up a quick third down here for Buffalo. Pressure coming to get the screen off. It's going to be caught and going to be brought down. Short of the first down. So, the defense is coming to play here early on in this uh, second half as TJ Yeldon can't pick up the first. So a couple of three and outs here for the both defenses. And we got the ball right back as Gasicki with the catch. And he's got a first down up to the 44-yard line. Been a lot more involved this week. Uh, you know, Last week it was just tough. It's good to see him getting involved because he's such a talented tight end. He's got the talent. He's got the size, speed, everything. If he can just put it together, man, he could be an absolute monster. As we bring up a third and six here from the 40. Two a looking blitz was picked up nicely. Just nobody open down the field. Great coverage down the field by this Buffalo defense. And that one's going to be incomplete. So instead of attempting a 57-yard field goal, we're just going to play the field position game here. Decide to punt. Hopefully this works out in our favor. As that's an excellent punt. Down to the six. So let's see if we can get a stop here and flee, you know, get some good field position for next drive. Second and five with the run. Singletary, nice open field tackle by Jerome Baker. He misses that one. Singletary is running for a long time. And now they're going to fake uh, fullback toss here on third and two, and it does not work out for Buffalo. He'll be short of the first down, and that punt works out in our favor because you can see the field position we got here to start this drive at the 46-yard line. Toss to Brita. Somehow gets away from that tackle. And then he is going to pick up decent yardage there. Gain of eight up to the 38-yard line. I thought he was going to be taken down for a loss there. Second and two. Tua looking. Stepping back. Firing. And he's going to find Shaheen there for the catch. First down up to the 30-yard line. Utilizing everybody on this team. Just find the open man. Second and ten. Play action. Tua looking. is going to go out to Matt Brita. And it's going to be picked off. Are you kidding me? Traveria... Oh, wow. Wow. Take a look at this interception. What happened? Did he just steal it from him? Looks like Brita's got it, and he just it just rips it out of his hands. Unbelievable interception. That good field position just goes away just like that with the crazy interception. And now Buffalo's got the ball here. With 3.15 left in this third quarter. Third and 12, though. Chance. As Allen's just going to throw it up, he'll throw it away before it gets taken down. So our defense is playing well in this second half. Comes through, with an, comes through with another stop after the turnover. I'm still stunned by that interception. Man, 
unbelievable. Second and ten. You can see the run game has been a lot tougher in this game as Breida can't get anything there and brings up a third and long. These are positions you don't want to leave a young quarterback as just going to throw it up to Devontae Parker, and he comes down with the catch, and he's going to be off to the races for the touchdown. There we go. Big time play, and we take the lead right back. You want to be a number one receiver. You want to be an all-pro receiver. This is what you got to do. One-on-one -on -one matchups going up over Levi Wallace. Comes down with it. Gets the touchdown. And I tell you what, if Tua can do one thing, he can throw those deep balls. I mean, Alabama got Henry Ruggs, Jerry Judy throwing those deep balls all day. He can definitely do it as this is almost a pick. Byron Jones almost comes down with that one. But that's going to fall incomplete. So second and 10. Now got the lead here, 24-21. Buffalo trying to answer right back. Finds Cole Beasley down the field in the post pattern there. First down up to the 45-yard line. Less than a minute now left in this third quarter. As that's going to be Singletary with the run. Ball is loose. It's still loose, but then picked up by Buffalo. Man, it was just chilling there, waiting for us to get it. But I think that was Croft there with the uh, pickup. Buffalo retains here. Third and one now. The pass, and it's going to fall incomplete. Buffalo cannot get it there. And with third and one, fourth and one, they decide to punt the ball. So they decide not to go for it. Decide to trust in their defense. And now Jordan Howard, he just runs over. I'm not sure who, who was that. Was that Micah Hyde? He just ran over. There we go. He's fresh. Maybe that's what we need to do is just run down this team. We're not running this ball here. Here comes Jordan Howard with another carry as we are now into the fourth quarter. Maybe start to wear down this team. Get this power rushing in here. As just like that, we're up to the 47-yard line. Second and two. Back to Howard on the ground. And he powers through. And I believe he has enough for another first down. So now we can play action off that. Get a nice little screen to the outside. Get Preston Williams. Nice block. And he's got a decent gain. He's up to the 31-yard line. Gain of 16. First down now. And we're moving it. We're in field goal position now. Trying to put this to at least maybe to, obviously, instead of a field goal game, and we'd love to score a touchdown to put this at a two-position ball game. That would be fantastic. Waste some more time here as we're down to the 15-yard line, and we got a third and seven. Tua, empty set, looking. Pressure coming. Gets rid of it just in time, but it's going to fall incomplete. Intended for Albert Wilson, but good drive. We'll take the three, get the lead up to six. So at least Buffalo can't just go down, kick a field goal, and tie it up. They need a touchdown to take the lead. But they're looking at it right away. And they're going to find Stephon Diggs. Picks up 50 yards down to the 25. That is the difference maker right there. Just a tough matchup with anybody. And just like that, Buffalo's down to the 25. And just like that, another completion. They're down to the 6. In two plays, down to the 6-yard line. And first and goal here with 6.35 left in the ball game. Allen throwing it quick and it almost was picked off. Oh, man. Should have been picked. Third and goal now for Buffalo. Allen looking. Can't find anybody. And he's going to be brought down there. Emmanuel Ogba comes in, gets the sack. And that's going to hold Buffalo to three. Puts this back to a three-point ball game. So 5.26 left. Can we have a nice drive here? And just waste this clock away and maybe put up some points. But right now, we got a third and five. Tua looking outside. Albert Wilson and he, oh! Take a look at this. It hits it off his head. His helmet. Just put your hands up, man. He just did not see the ball. Was not looking for it. Man, oh man, oh man. That should have been a first down and continue the drive here. But now Buffalo with four minutes left. Has a chance now to just tie this ball game or take the lead. And that's a great start finding Stephon Diggs for the first down up to the 47-yard line. First and 10. Goes underneath. Finds TJ Yeldon with the catch. He's up to the 40. 307 left. Second and three. Allen looking underneath. Has Cole Beasley for the catch. Another first down for Buffalo. Just right around field goal range here. But you know they're looking for seven. They're looking for the score. They're looking for the lead. First and 10, Allen looking, pressure coming, flag on the play, Cole Beasley with the catch. Let's see what this flag is, and I think it's going to be yep, roughing the passer, Kyle Van Noy, just a bit of a late hit, and that is going to put them down to the 13-yard line with two minutes left here. Here we go. 
Can the defense get a stop? Hold him to three. Keep this at a tie ball game. Goes underneath to Beasley. And he falls forward down to the one. Buffalo's going to hurry up here. First and goal. They actually play action. I thought it was going to be a handoff to Singletary. Allen looking to the outside. Almost picked off. But another flag on the play. And it's going to be illegal touching there on Diggs. He ran out of bounds. It's going to just be loss of down. Stays at the one here. So here we go. Second and goal. 137 left from the one. They're going to hand this one to Singletary up the middle. And he's in for the touchdown. And Buffalo's going to take the lead here. With 130 left in the ball game. The extra point is going to put him up four. So a field goal won't do it. We need a touchdown. And here we go again. To a second straight week. Came in last week cold. At least this time he's been playing the whole game. We got all three of our timeouts. Can the rookie in his debut come through with a game-winning drive? Here we go. Third and one. Hand off to Brita. Just enough to pick up the first down. We'll hurry it up here. Save those timeouts for right now. 1-0-2 left. Tua, first and ten. Looking. Watch out. Get rid of it. Time danger throw. But Albert Wilson comes up with a fantastic. That's actually Preston Williams comes up with the catch. I thought it was Albert Wilson. Preston Williams comes down with the catch. Saving your quarterback there. First and ten. Looking. Going deep. That's Albert Wilson. He comes away with the catch. He's in bounds. He is in bounds. It's a catch. And with the injury timeout, that saves us some time, too. So we're down to the 25-yard line. 45 seconds left, and that's a huge sack. We're going to have to use a timeout. Man, third and 22. Obviously a four-down territory. we got to go for it no matter what. Going up top, looking for Parker, and he comes away with the catch. Huge catch down to the six. We got to hurry. We only got one timeout left. No time to celebrate. We got to get going. Ten seconds left here. Hurry it up. Tua back to the end zone looking for Gasicki incomplete. Oh, man. What a week two. Second and goal now from the six. Six seconds left. Four, three, two, one. Going up. It's going to be incomplete. We got one second left. Last play of the ball game from the six. Third and goal. Doesn't matter, really. Just one play left. Tua rolling out. Has an open man, but hit the wrong button. But it doesn't matter. Gasicki comes down with it for the touchdown. Oh, man. What a finish here in week number two. And it's a victory. 33-31. to 31. Let's take a look at that last play once again. I hit the wrong button. Albert Wilson is just sitting there wide open in front of me. Accidentally hit the wrong button. And it worked out. Gesicki comes through with the catch over Levi Wallace. And the game winner. Oh, wow. Uh, I'm telling you, when it was that play happened, I thought I blew it. I thought I blew it. I couldn't believe it. I can't, couldn't believe hit the wrong button and it still works out in our favor. What a ball game. Wow. Gesicki comes through. Devontae Parker with two touchdowns, 129. And what a debut for Tua. Comes down with the victory, the drive with a minute and 34 left. And your home opener, I mean, four touchdowns. He threw the t that one pick from White was just, that was outrageous. That was just ridiculous. The one, obviously, the pick for Micah Hyde took us back to the house. That's all my fault, no doubt about it. But that second pick was absolutely... I mean, it was in the hands of Matt Breida, and somehow he just ripped it out of his hands. But, man, what a ball game. I mean, that was, that, that was definitely entertainment. No doubt about it. Wow. What a game. As Gesicki, you, you deserve the upgrade, man, after coming down with that grab. Uh, gets uh, let's see, we'll, we'll just work on possession. I was thinking about working on his blocking, but, you know, right now, just continue to make him an absolute beast in the receiving game. Um, does get one in lead block, so that's that's good to see. Uh, and run block power, so that's cool. Let's take a look at his ratings here. So, yeah, you can see his run, but he's not that great of a run blocker. He is more of a definitely receiving tight end. That is for sure. As Preston Williams is going to have a upgrade as well. I think we're just working on his route running ability, try to get his, uh, 
I mean, he can go up and get it. There's no doubt about it. But if we can make him a complete route runner, that would be even more just spectacular. But I'm still, still, uh, you know, pumped after that. That was crazy there at the end. Just coming up with some huge catches. That Albert Wilson on the sideline and Devontae Parker coming down with it. The bad news is Eric Flowers is going to be out for five weeks. So that does not help out our offensive line. So you can see we don't have a whole lot. We got Kinley. We got Dieter. I think we're just going to put Dieter there to starting at left guard. I mean, he's only a 65 overall. We might have to take a look around the league. I'm not sure. You can see just not good. 68 run block, 67 pass block, uh, lead block at 78. Just not what you want, but, I mean, this is what's going to happen for the rest of the year. Two against the offensive player of the uh, week. That is awesome as your debut. And, man, what a week two that is. We'll move to week three. We'll play Jacksonville. They're 2-0 on the season. Going on the road here, prime time. Can't wait to see Gardner Minshew in this Jacksonville team. But that's going to do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for all the support. If you could please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I will see you in the next one. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.